Howdy y'all, it's Ryan from Arnie Music, your favorite mom and pop music lesson studio and occasional guitar shop deep in the heart of Texas, that's where I'm at right now. And it's new stuff day, we have another unboxing. I literally just did an unboxing uh, yesterday, the day before yesterday, I don't know. We had an unboxing, I don't know when you're gonna see these, so you probably won't see them back to back. But we had an unboxing the day before yesterday, it's time for another one today, so yay, it's custom guitar week at r and Music. Which is interesting, it's actually, there's a reasonable amount of our business when we sell guitars that, uh, we have guitars that come in that never really hit the brack, you know, they're not hanging up on the wall. We have, uh, especially last year, 2019 was a big year for selling custom guitars. Spacer box, spacer box, spacer box. Whoa. And here, ah, here we go. Here we go. So this one's exciting. This is a brand new guitar from this manufacturer. This is a new model. Completely brand new model for this company. And, and one of our amazing, amazing, amazing customers who likes to support small independent dealers. Ordered actually two of them. <laughs> so this is the first, this is the first of the two. <clears throat> so you'll see, you'll actually see, oh, You'll actually see so many boxes. You'll actually see another one of these uh, in a few weeks, maybe a month. Not sure exactly when the next one is on order. We're in the middle of the corona outbreak virus, so it's affecting a lot of businesses and, you know, supply chains. Stuff like that. Pretty crazy times. We are actually closed to the public right now. Now we're still teaching lessons to most of our students via Skype, um, Zoom, pre-recorded YouTube lessons, that kind of a thing. So we're still teaching, but our, ooh, our doors are closed to the public. Check it out. Wow. Okay. Here we go. What we've got today is a CMG Guitars. Wow. Diane. It's the CMG Diane. Ouch. <laughs> In emerald green. Emerald green. So this is the uh, S type. S type body. Ow. <laughs> I hurt my wrist the other day, so I'm struggling, struggling. That's not good when you're a guitar player and you hurt your fretting hand. Yeah. Nice. Okay, yeah. So obviously you, you're saying, Hey, yeah, it's a uh, distract. <laughs> That's what you're thinking, I know. But there's a unique thing about this guitar uh, from CMG. There's several unique things. Uh, the main thing is that the, the scale length. You know, you know that most uh, S-type guitars, whether from, you know, the original company or all of the other companies. Like there's so many companies that make S types. Now what's unique about this one is the scale length, right? So most of them all have, you know, 25 and a half inch scale length, right? Now this is the thing with CMG is they do it all 24 and three quarters scale length. So this is more of a, G style scale length, right? 24 
It's actually not 24 and three quarters. It's really closer to 24 and a half. It, it's really 24.562. 24.562. So it's really more like 24 and a half. People say 24 and three quarters. But it's not really three quarters. It's 24.562. Right? So this is that, so uh, <laughs> that scale length. So if you're comfortable with the scale length, uh, which is kind of, that's sort of what I like, you know? Uh, I grew up learning and playing on guitars that were 24, 24.562. <laughs> and so to me, that scale length kind of feels like home. It feels, feels right to me. Not, not that I don't have, I have some 25 inch PRS 25 scale length guitars. And I do have one guitar that's 20, 25 and a half. And I do play it, I can play it, but that's not my kinda, that's not what I feel at home on, right? What I feel at home on is the 24 three quarters. 245, I think that's why PRS started calling it, because it's actually, you know, more correct, right? It's so very nice, let's go over some specy specs, and then we'll do a play test to see how everything works. Emerald Green Diane from CMG Guitars, or Chris Mitchell Guitars. Chris Mitchell Guitars Guitars. <laughs> in Statesboro, Georgia, right? So made in the USA. This is their newest model. Uh, the Diane, which is obviously, you know, an S type guitar. So this is one of the earliest ones they've made. I don't know how many, this is maybe like, Third or fourth one, maybe. I don't know why I started playing. Uh, very new model. So new, in fact, that uh, the next ones made won't be exactly like this. And I will get into that as we break down the specs on this bad boy. So let's break down the specs, okay? I'm gonna move in close. We talked about the neck in the unboxing that is a 24.562, commonly referred to 24 and three quarters, but we said, of course, it's not 24 and three quarters. 24.562, which is the main kind of unique thing about this is you don't really come across this shape and style of guitar with that scale length neck. And if you're a person who likes 24 and three quarters or 24.5, uh, that's your scale length and this is the guitar for you. It does have a spoke style truss rod adjustment right in there. A little hidey hole. There's your truss rod adjustment, spoke adjustment, which is cool. I like that a lot. Now let's talk about the thing that's a little bit different. So we have this uh, floating Wilkinson bridge, right? It's a two point, two post. And it's a floating, so you can dive and pull up. Now this is the thing that's gonna change, right? Because when they were started making these, maybe many months ago when they were in the design process, and they built the first prototypes and built these first few, um, this was the Wilkinson bridge that they chose. Um, however, <laughs> since they started production, these Wilkinson trims are no longer in production. Well, since they started making the guitar, these are now out of production. So, and they've checked all of the different suppliers. They cannot get this exact bridge anymore. So the next Diane's coming after this will not have this exact same floating Wilkinson bridge. I think it'll be a Wilkinson bridge. It'll just have to be a different one because Wilkinson discontinued. This one is what Chris told me. Okay, so <laughs> that's the bridge. That's really the only thing that's gonna change moving forward uh, production-wise with the Dianes. It will have a different bridge than this one has specifically. So if Grover tuners, okay. Pretty standard on a lot of guitars. Grover tuners, now this one has three DiMarzio Area 67 pickups. Area 67 DiMarzio's, um, which is, these are actually stacked humbuckers. 
Um, so they look like singles, but they're they're stacked vertically, so it's one on top of the other. So basically, it gives you uh, it gives you the attack of a single coil, but it gives you the hum buckingness, the hum resistance. of a humbucker, right? So the attack of a single, but you don't get the <laughs> you don't get the hum associated with them. So this one has the DiMarzio Era 67s in it. Um, I think the next one we have coming, we have another one coming and it's gonna have like Texas hot, or Texas heat, Texas heat or Texas hot pickups. I, go, I have to look at the spec sheet, but the next one's gonna have different pickups. Uh, as per a custom order from a customer. Okay, single volume, single tone, five-way switch. Here's the other thing that's a little unique. This is a lateral switch. It's, it's not kind of angled like, you know, typical what you see in this style of guitar. It's a lateral one so that when you're strumming, you're not as likely to switch positions with your strumming. So that was a thing that Chris uh, specifically had in mind was a five-way lateral. Five-way lateral as opposed to kind of the angled switch that you normally find. So uh, this is really just a play test um, just to make sure everything works. Surprise, it does. <laughs> Not a surprise, but it does work. I always like check everything before we send it off to uh, the customer. This one is also a custom order for a customer who does not mind, likes me to do, likes me to do the unboxing video. And play testing. Very low action on this one, by the way, is actually. Super low action on this bad boy, but that's how Chris likes them. So I'm just gonna give you some quick and dirty sound samples, clean each pickup configuration. Uh, we're gonna flip through the, the five switches and uh, play some clean chords. And then I'll come back and do the dirties, some sound samples, and then uh, we'll wrap it up. I'm gonna box this sucker up, send it off to its new owner probably tomorrow, hopefully, the next day, I don't know. We're in the middle of the corona apocalypse, so shipping has been funky. Uh, me receiving stuff has been funky because when people are sending me guitars, they said they've had trouble getting their shipments together, so we'll see how it goes, but anyways. All right, sound samples, quick and dirty, bridge. Next position, bridge and <clears throat> middle. Position four or two, depending on how you look at it. And then neck, I call this five. I don't know what other people call it, but the neck, neck pickup, right? my chord. And now you've all been waiting for the dirt, so 
bridge, dirt. Bridge and middle, <laughs> dirt. Position, dirty dirt, dirt. Neck, neck, dirty dirt, dirt. Are not really my kind of guitar not CMGs but I mean a three single coil double cutaway you know a Strat style guitar right not really my thing I didn't grow up on these I got buddies who grew up with you know they had a Squire as their first guitar three single coils all that kind of stuff and that's what they learned to play on and so of course that feels like home to them uh, doesn't feel like home to me. I, so, that middle pickup is kind of always feel, I don't know, like nowhere to pick. I'm picking too deep or something that it's just, I've got to, I've got to work around that. But 
Um, obviously, tons and tons and tons of amazing music written and played on a guitar of this style and build and pickup configuration. Uh, there's no doubt about that. Legends, legends of the music world play guitars in this style of build. Um, but I like this. I do have to say, uh, got a bum wrist today, so I'm <laughs> working with that. So bear, keep that in mind. I'm working with a handicap today, but. The scale length, for me, this is great because I, again, grew up on a 24 and 3 quarters. That's what I learned on, was very Gibson-ish style guitars. I had a Takamini uh, double cut guitar. It looked like basically a Carlos Santana style guitar, but it was a Takamini electric, you know, Gibson scale length, all that kind of stuff. That's what I grew up on. Then I got me an Explorer when I was 16 and played the crap out of my Explorer that I still have. And, you know, I had like an, I think an Epiphone Les Paul at some point in time. And just every guitar I've played, I, I feel good. I feel at home on that 24 and a half uh, scale length. 24.562. 24.562, if you want to be <laughs> super anal about it. But that's what feels good to me. And I can say that uh, the Mark, right, the CMG Mark, which is a, a T-type, a T-style guitar, but it has that uh, 24.562 scale length, and we've had several marks come in that we've sold, uh, and I love that's I love that feel. I love that scale length, and if you're like me and you're more at home on this scale length, and the 25.5 feels uh, just different to you, um, and you want a T-style or an S-type guitar, I think the CMG uh, Mark and Diane are both amazing choices for that. Made in America. Now this is not a base model because it's got the DiMarzio pickups in it. So this one's a little bit more than the normal st uh, starting price. This has got some options in it that uh, jump the price up a little bit. But I believe we're still talking about starting off, uh, you know, eventually the Diane I think will be in, around that $800 price point-ish. Give or take. Now, don't, you know, rip me to shreds if they end up being 899 or 999. But we're still sub $1,000 is the goal. Uh, this one with the DiMarzios uh, jumps up the price a little bit. But, and there's still some things working out the bridge. Bridge will be different going forward. I'll update you on that as that becomes more clear uh, on the details. I'll update you on the bridge situation as it moves forward. Uh, Chris is keeping me informed of that. But yeah, so this is great. Emerald green, which is one of their kind of normal stock colors. It's so hard to see the green. Nitro cellulose finish, by the way. Nitro finish. Not that thick polyester stuff. Nitro finish. Nitro on this guy. So it will, it will wear over time. <laughs> Uh, like an older 50s, 60s, 70s guitar will, right? So it's gonna, it's gonna wear and naturally relic, you know, in a more authentic way than <laughs> of the current ones do. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, check it out, the CMG Diane. It's their new S-type, let's just call it that, because it are, it are one. <laughs> this is number 818. Serial number 818. So it's the 818th CMG manufactured in the USA, Statesboro, Georgia. American made guitars at affordable prices. RNA Music is your Texas dealer. I'm not saying we're the best CMG dealer. I'm just saying <laughs> we're a CMG dealer in Texas, right? And uh, lots of other, not a lot. There's a few other CMG dealers great guys too but uh yeah check them out we've sold a fair amount last year 2019 we probably sold more cmgs in that year than previously so business is picking up for us let me turn off this we did a lot of uh we did a lot of custom cmg orders in 2019 we sold through our limited edition rna ones uh, we have a, a second run of rna music dealer exclusive limited edition cmg guitars coming hopefully in 2020 
we don't all, you know, uh, if we all make it, <laughs> right? Bolt on neck, maple neck, rosewood fretboard, you know, kind of all the standard stuff there. So, all right, I'm going to box this up, ship it off to my uh, customer. He already has, he already has two CMGs. He has a green Ashley. He has a green Mark, and now he has a green Diane. He's got the trinity of green CMGs. Thank you, sir, for all your support of small mom and pop shops and mom and pop manufacturers, actually. The popo is coming. Oh, it's not for, they're not looking for me. All right, thank you guys so much. Please uh, enjoy, if you're interested in a CMG, talk to us, email us, and uh, we can see about getting you on the build list. They only build about a hundred of these bad boys a year. And so, uh, you know, small production, just one or two guys building these things in Statesboro, Georgia. But let us know if you want one and we'll see what we can do. Stay tuned for more CMG stuff from Arnie Music. Thank you so much for watching and supporting us. If you're interested in Arnie Music t-shirt, go get you one, link in the uh, description. Support your small businesses any way you can, especially during these tough times, crazy times. <laughs> And we'll see y'all in the next video. Stay safe. Stay safe. <laughs> and go play guitar. Bye, y'all.